Could the lack of a Coca-Cola bottling plant be the litmus test? Perhaps. Does the presence of an unnecessary yet delightful soft drink help define a society that in the very least is trying to embrace a small part of the global economy? Maybe. I arrived in Vietnam at Noi Bai Airport, north of Hanoi, in August of 1994 with my wife and small child and two other teammates who were tasked with teaching English. The ride home. If anything stands out about that first few months in Vietnam in 1994, it was the ride home from the airport. It was at night. Sheets of rain, unlike I had ever seen before, just poured down. We were picked up by our university in a van I was absolutely dead tired. I remember my head flopping around in the back seat like a Raggedy Ann doll. We had to get to the city of Haiphong, which is a quick jaunt from Hanoi if you are in Vietnam today. But in 1994, it could take four hours to get to Haiphong, depending on the circumstances. There were two one-way bridges that also shared the span with a train. So if you happen to catch a train going over the bridge, you could be waiting a long time if you had a convoy of vehicles in front of you. I remember the scenes well. Uh, many times the vehicles would pull up to the bridge and at one point they would just turn off the car. People would get out. They would have a snack. There were people selling things there because the wait time would be brutal. Anyways, we're in the van heading to Haiphong. Now, we're not on a highway like they have today. No, this, this, this road had potholes that was anything but smooth, anything but comfortable. At one point, I had fallen asleep, and suddenly the van screeched to a halt, and my head snapped forward, and, and the lights of the van's headlamps were shining on a drenched group of massive gray, big-horned water buffaloes. And I remember them just staring. It looked like they were staring at us. And they stared at us like they were asking me a question, like they were looking at me saying, what are you doing here? What's an American doing here in a place like this? Indeed, great question. My arrival in Vietnam happened just months after the U.S. lifted the trade embargo against Vietnam. There hadn't been Americans in northern Vietnam in decades. It really was like walking back in time. 1994 was only 19 years after that last U.S. helicopter lifted off of the Saigon Embassy in 1975, which ended the Vietnam War. 1994 was just a few years after the Vietnamese government had moved away from what they called the Thời Bao Cup, the period of time where the government provided, or what we might call a command economy or a socialistic economy. There were no Western products. Coca-Cola had yet to arrive in Vietnam. And in the 20th century, when a country was opening to foreign investments, Soft drinks were typically one of the first ones in. They were attractive and they were cheap. On occasion, I would see a bottle of Chinese Coca-Cola. When I was curious enough to buy one, it was very flat and quite miserable. And who knows, it, it could have been a bootlegged version.